That's what we call kitty in the window. Kitty in the window. Kitty in the window. He's looking to eat my son Kitty on the other side of the window. It's JJ. He always comes to the window to get in. I don't think he wants to come in here with this kitty in the other side of the window. No. Cause this kitty would eat that kitty. Yes, it would. Yes, so don't get grouchy. Yeah, make was shedding out. We just brought him in because we power washed his enclosure out. And anyway, he just had a big round steak. His belly full. He hasn't been in a few months. Might leave him in for the weekend and have Dot come out and just give him a annual physical. He's due for his annual vaccinations and she's up in his rabies and do a fecal. I think we could get it all done without sedations except the fecal. However, he pretty much lets me handle him. Yeah, he does. Let's see. Show him what we do. Hey, mm -hmm. mm. But in the end, he is a wild animal. You can see it in his eyes. Yeah. It's all right. Mm-hmm. Looking at that cat? Mm, big daddy? Really shedding. Say, I would like to eat me a little kitty, but we won't let little kitty in, because this is a big kitty. Yeah. He's dropped. Shoot. Probably, oh, I don't know. Minimum 10 pounds. I'm going to say 14, at least. <laughs> Rat. <laughs> Can't you get him? Can't get him through the window? He's probably wondering who the heck you are in his territory. That's his, your head's the size of his torso. Yeah, that's bleach wipes. Those probably really irritate your nose. Very sensitive. At any rate, that's our bobcat looking at our domestic cat. And that's Wendy on the entrance howling. She wants out. Of course, we got little Cookie pinned up right now, and it's neat because Mako's getting tips. His tips. He's just eight. See the tips on his ears? He's never had them this year. Anyway, uh, it's 22nd of July. Saturday, and we're spending the rest of the evening in the house. So, wanted to let y'all see our uh, forever bobcat here, Kyra, our female. She's in the zoo now. The female we took in and surrendered, well, on an owner surrender. Yeah, we just had a German Shepherd we took in and rehomed him. Gar Jarvis came from Petland. It's a pet store down in the state of Michigan who thousands of animals, which is going to be what you consider a puppy mill pet store. Go in there and buy anything you want. Walk in again. A sad situation. He was a byproduct of that, but it's in a great place now, and we'll share some with, about him with you later. I know it's hard for us to keep up with everything as uh, everything comes in daily through here. So, But at any rate, it's uh, all of every little part that makes the big difference, and I know I'm not always right available for people and families when they call or mainly email. So if people want to reach me, you just need to call me. Um, every day is a constant go, 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 go. And just basic care of animals. And then calls we get and animals we take in and things we have to do. There's a beautiful boy right there. He's lucky too. He's a lucky boy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He moved. The cat moved. At any rate, he is a beautiful animal, but they belong in the wild. So, all right. Just thought I'd share. Have a beautiful weekend. Stay cool, safe, and happy.